Yo guys, what's up? It's Dave, the Oops Was Gangster here. So note that this is not my usual background, but I just decided to change things up a little bit. So if you like this, leave a comment down below. Uh, it's just so I know to do it or not do it in the future. So, what if I told you that you could take a normal image that you took using the Google Camera app and turn it into a cool 3D picture? So, how can you do this? Well, first, when you take a photo using a lens blur effect in a Google Camera app, it adds depth data to the actual JPEG file. Using an online app called Depthy, we can, what we can do is we can extract that depth data from the file and then reapply it to the image. It's pretty easy and just super cool. So, let's check it out. Alright guys, so in order to do this, you will need to be using the new Google camera. Now you can find it in the Play Store and download and installing a device. All you need to do is have a uh, Android device running Android 4.4, aka KitKat or above, and you're pretty much good to go. And if you have a Nexus device, it's installed by default. So opening it up. Now in order to do this cool 3D mapping, we need to first take a uh, image using lens blur effect. So scrolling over here, I'm on lens blur. Now I already took a lens blur image just to save time. So let's go to that image right there. Uh, boring image, took up the sink. Um, nothing really interesting. But once you take your image, what you want to do is actually go to a website. Now I'll provide a link in the description. But believe it or not, this website will actually work on your phone if you're running the latest version of Chrome. So let's go over here. Open up Chrome. So the website is called Deathy. Stamina, 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 and um, and it's really just a simple site. Let's go to load lens blur photo. Go to documents. Let's open up that photo over here. It was this one, and we're going to load it. And at the bottom, you see we had the lens blur photo. Now you probably can't see anything right now. But if you're on a PC doing this, you can use your cursor and move around. And I can actually kind of do it right here. But let's go to hypnotize. And as you can see, the image is moving around. And we'll add a blur to that. Blurred on. Blur is off. There we go. And the image is moving around and creates a cool 3D-like effect. And dramatize just really exaggerates it. Um, but having hypnotize really just makes it look awesome. And at the bottom, we can see there's the original image, and there is the extracted uh, death image. And you can use this extracted image in other programs like After Effects and Photoshop, and do some really cool stuff with this. So if you want to save the image, you will need to be on a, uh, a computer to do this, because you can't simply right-click and save it. Instead, what people have been doing is using a uh, popular GIF program to actually just record it and make a GIF out of this image. And I'll show you how to do that. So if you want to save the image as a GIF of the 3D uh, created picture that you made, what you want to do is go to the website on a full browser on your desktop and download a program called GIFCam. I'll provide a link in the description. It's free and it's really easy to use. With GIFCam, what you can do is open it up. Uh, let's move this out of the way. And you can simply set the size of this to the monitor to the picture size here we go and we hit record and record it for a few frames and uh, we can stop and uh, save the image I already have mine saved right over here so I'm just going to drag this right down here and as you see we have the animated gif created so it's really easy to do using gif cam and just straightforward so guys this has been a quick video on how to create cool 3d images to using photos taken using a lens blur effect on the Google Camera app. Like I said, this is not perfect, but it's still a work in progress, and it's just pretty cool, and this is out there free, uh, open source. You can definitely, if you know how to code, you know, try it out. Uh, and just, you know, check it out. So, guys, as always, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.